In this lesson, we're going to learn how to control a three-color LED, um, which kind of creates some interesting effects. Basically, it, it consists of three separate elements within one LED housing, one element for each color, red, blue, and green. And, and you can control the varying intensities of each of these three colors with your Arduino in order to basically make any color imaginable. And there's a lot of fun applications to this, and we'll discuss these later on in the lesson. You'll need the following parts for this project. An Arduino Uno, breadboard, USB charging cable, jumpers, three 220 ohm resistors, and an RGB LED. Okay, let's begin wiring up the board. Well, the RGB LED has four leads on it. Um, one is super long, and it's the second lead in. Um, that one's the ground. The other three are the colors. So, um, plug this into the breadboard with each one obviously getting its own row. You might have to bend them out a little bit. There you go. Okay, so the second lead is ground, so plug that one into ground. The other three plug into pins 11, 10, and 9. The only tricky thing is that we need to provide resistors in order to protect the LED. Each of those elements is fairly delicate, and if you put too much power into um, the element, it will burn it out, so you need resistors to protect it. So I have these 220 ohm resistors. Um, you could also use 270s. Anything more than that, you're going to start seeing it distinctly dimming. So definitely suggest no more than like a 330 or so. Okay. one resistor There's the second one and the other one's on the other side of the, that ground wire all right so notice how the LED or the resistors are straddling this center line on the breadboard. As you might recall, these connectors don't cross that center line. So, if you want to have something um, that is uh, is separated from that main um, component, um, then you you cross over that line. All right. So let's start plugging them in. First one into 11. Second one into 10. And the third one into 9. I will explain uh, later on why those three pins were chosen. Okay, so now we're ready to program it. Okay, let's program the RGB LED. Um, one of the coolest aspects of the Arduino phenomenon is being able to Google search code. Say you want to learn how to use a component, chances are someone already has figured it out and is interested in sharing it. So, I did a search and found this sketch. It is part of a tutorial on Adafruit.com and um, it was created by Simon Monk. And basically, it uh, takes you through each color in turn red, green, blue, yellow, purple, aqua, uh, and just cycles it just to test out the Arduino. And I think that's a really great starting point. So let's highlight that. And drop it into a sketch, or, a, or make a sketch out of it. And then let's upload it. 
Before we upload, however, I want to mention one cool thing about this sketch that um, is definitely something to learn. I told you that you have basically a setup and a loop, but there um, is something after the loop. How interesting. Basically, this is called a function, and the idea is a bunch of code. You can create one example of that code and then reference it within the 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 sketch in order to save space. In this case, we have a function called set color, and basically this um, sets each individual instance of a color. And the way it, it creates uh, integers for red, green, and blue, and then it um, creates values for red, green, and blue on the basis of information that's getting from the red pin, the green pin, and the blue pin, which we've already established up here are pins 11, 10, and 9. So when it does go through its loop of doing all the different colors, it uses set color rather than saying, repeating the pin, value, the pin numbers every single time. I think that's pretty cool, and this is a very simple example of functions, and you should keep your eye out for them as you explore Arduino sketches. Okay, let's test out the project by uploading the code. Okay, this is cool. You can see it's cycling th through the various colors, red, blue, green, purple, orange. It's pretty awesome, right? One of the cool things about an RGB LED is it kind of delivers a lot of information, right? It, it has, not only does it have different, uh, different colors, but different brightnesses as well, all thanks to pulse width modulation, which I explained in an earlier lesson. Basically, the reason why you have to use these particular pins, 11, 10, and 9, is that they are PWM enabled, which allows the Arduino to turn them on and off very rapidly in order to create different brightnesses, even when officially it, it can only be either on or off. But because our eye looks at this rapidly blinking thing, it, it can't tell that it's blinking, it just looks dimmer. Um, and so this is a great opportunity to learn how to to control this this LED and use it in a future project. All right, that's it, thanks. In the next lesson, which is the final lesson of series two, we're kind of going to kind of take a, a different tack and play around with a passive infrared sensor, which is something a little different than the LEDs we've been working with thus far. Thanks for watching.